The Green Piano, How Little Me Found Music, written by five-time Grammy winner Roberta Flack with Tanya Bolden, illustrated by Hayden Goodman. Little me in my Blue Ridge mountain town of Asheville, North Carolina, living on a street named Velvet, then on one named Circle. I didn't have fancy fine clothes, high-priced toys, or other richy rich things. But I had music, my treasure, my gold. Daddy, his name was Laren, at one time a waiter, at one time a cook, and later a builder had taught himself to play piano, harmonica too. Mother, her name was Irene, a maid for a time, had taken some music lessons as a child and now played the organ so nicely at our church, piano too. At age three, maybe four, there was me at the keys of that church piano. I'd use my elbows on the ebony's because my fingers were too short. Mother and Daddy were so tickled by that and so proud of me. I imagined an entire congregation listening to me play hymns like Precious Lord, Take My Hand, and even songs I heard on the radio like A Tisket, A Tasket. And I dreamed of having my very own piano. Dreamed of my own piano when I tap, tap, tapped out tunes on tabletops, windowsills. Dreamed of that piano when with my slight voice, I sailed into sing-alongs with my big sister Nancy, with little sister Lorene. Twinkle, twinkle, little star was a favorite. Older me, age six, started taking piano lessons from a mighty fine lady with a noble sounding name, Mrs. Hightower. And when Mrs. Hightower heard that we were moving, you must make sure Roberta continues her piano lessons when you get up there. Up there was Virginia in a place called Green Valley in a home where mother, daddy, neighbors, friends made music together, offering up soul-soothing harmonica tunes, playing the spoons, singing love right into our living room, with me still, still dreaming of my very own piano. Then one day, not many miles away in Washington, D.C., Daddy spied something in a junkyard he was passing by. Something that brought a glistening to his eyes. Something he just knew would make nine-year-old me burst into a thousand smiles. A piano. A small, upright piano. Old, ratty, beat-up, weather-worn, faded thing. Its ivories terribly stained. And it stink. But Daddy, he saw treasure saw gold. Can I have it? He eagerly asked Mr. Junkyard Man. Come and get it, the man replied with a shrug. Lickety split, Daddy hustled up help to haul that piano home. When I first saw my piano, I saw a miracle. Daddy put his all into fixing up that old, ratty, beat-up, weather-worn, faded, stained, stinky thing. When can I play it? That was me as he cleaned it, cleaned it, cleaned it, with mother lending a helping hand. When can I play it? That was me as he tuned it. When can I play it? That was me as Daddy painted that piano a grassy green. 
I couldn't wait, couldn't wait, couldn't wait for the paint to dry. And then... Gently, I touch the keys. My green piano already a part of me. Notes flowing through my fingers to my body, to my soul. I practice for hours and hours, teaching myself to play songs from the radio, like Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Teaching myself to play songs from church, like Amazing Grace. Taking piano lessons again from Alma Blackmon, a top teacher in D.C. Soon, my fingers longer, stronger, graceful were gliding into songs like Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, like Handel's Messiah. Soon, when I sang along to songs, my voice was no longer slight, but stronger, richer, smoother. And soon, I had an even bigger dream. Of a life all wrapped up in the majesty, the magic of music, my treasure, my gold. Grown up me lived this dream, year after year after year. Along the way, I never forgot the joy, the miracle, the wonder, the blessing of my green piano. I hope you enjoyed today's story time. If you like the book, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button below. As always, thank you for reading with me and I'll see you at our next story time.